What is up guys? Welcome to another one of my videos where today I'm going to show you how to flash your LG G3 D851, the T-Mobile version, back to stock. Um, so let's begin. Basically you're going to have the LG Flash Tool 2014 and I will post the XJ thread and the file as you can see right here which contains the KDZ file, which is the firmware file, to flash your phone successfully back to stock. Uh, you're going to want to double click the EXE LG Flash tool. I already have it opened. And um, so what you're going to want to do, this automates to CDMA. Yes, it will work with T-Mobile, so don't worry about it not working with GSM phones. Um, all this stuff will be automated, Automated, so it'll say Diag 33000, uh, uh, leave all that how it is. All you're going to want to do is open the folder and navigate to your KDZ file, which I have put in my root file of my LG flash tool. Um, so yeah, once you do that, you're going to want to, you can either do normal flash or C SE flash, which is recommended. So I am going to go ahead and go ahead and proceed doing so. And once this pops up, I believe it should show me should show me the uh, region for the country that it wants me to input. But I don't see why it's doing that. I think that's the next step. So I'm going to click start. See if it pops up afterwards. I'm having a pop up on my end over here. Let me turn off my brightness. My my light over here so you guys can see a little bit better and um, I'm gonna click yes I'm gonna click yes and before we begin here we go here we go it pops up on my on the screen there's that uh, I'm not sure if you can see let me move the camera a little bit closer if you can see it says uh, the country and language and it I read on the thread that it is automates to Republic of Korea and the, the, the language is the only thing you can change so I go ahead and put English and I am gonna go ahead and show you guys that on my G3 it's not stock well technically it is but it's just a stock version uh, ROM on um, it's the Sky Dragon version and so it doesn't really matter what you're what you're on as long as you're uh, you know we're flashing back so it doesn't matter so we're gonna want to power off your device mine's powering off and you're gonna want to put it in download mode the way you do that is by holding the volume up down I mean the volume up button while plugging the, 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 the phone into the computer and it's off state so we're gonna go ahead and do that I'm holding the up button and I'm gonna plug it into my computer if it ever wants to go in there you go oh and I just messed up oh goodness I just messed up let me see if I can power it off now while it's booting up I have a case on mine so I could potentially take the battery off and whatnot but eh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and do that it's much quicker than waiting for it to boot up and whatnot. And then power it back off. So I'm gonna take my battery off, as you can see, put it back in, and I am holding the volume up button. My room is dark, so I apologize. I am holding the volume up button while I'm simultaneously plugging it into my computer. And they should get me in download mode. Should. So I'll give it a minute, see if it detects it or not. And of course, epic fail. I would hope your USB is plugged into your computer, because mine wasn't. <laughs> yeah, fail. So I just plugged it in. As you can see, I am in download mode. Let me see if I can... There you go. You're in download mode. That's how you know you're in download mode. So I'm going to put my phone back down and I'm going to click on start. So let me minimize this so you can focus better. And the program, um, yeah, just click OK and everything should go. Do not click the smartphone upgrade. Just click OK. And let me see if my phone shows anything. 
So far it says 0%. Whoop. Let me show you this, guys, real quick. Popped up on my other screen. This pops up. And it says LG Mobile Support Tool. And there shows you the percentage sign. I will note that on the XCA thread, the gentleman um, said that around 80% your phone will restart. So don't freak out. And, um, yeah, so let's just wait. Uh, let's see what it does. I don't see anything happening on my screen. Cannot connect to the server. Please retry later. So that's uh, an epic failure. Let's do that again. Oh, for some reason on my phone it says COM port 4. And it shows, I don't know if my camera will zoom in properly, but right there it says 2%. So I'm assuming it's doing its thing. And this might take a minute. So I will pause it and I will be right back once it finishes, okay? So here we are, and it's at 97, 98, 99, 100. Phone just rebooted, or I assume it rebooted because the screen went dark. There's a splash screen. Hopefully we're proceeding with a boot animation. So, let's see what's next. There we go. We heard the little chime. T-Mobile splash screen. And of course, as everybody knows, the first boot from my factory reset is always the longest. So let's be patient while this boots up. And actually that was pretty fast. Faster than I imagined. So let me unplug my... Oh, it just boot looped. I did not do that. I didn't power it off. It just did it by itself. So that's not good. Let me unplug it from my computer real quick. Alright, it's booting up booting up and guys I apologize for the sound in the background so I have other people in my house so anyways it looks like it's working um, let me click next no not now next skip all this junk and let's click next skip oh my goodness so many options and I believe we're set we're in the uh, on the home screen everything looks stock to me I'm going to drag it down and I am going to proceed to go into software end of the device to verify that it is indeed stock. And as you can see, we are on build KBT blah 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 software version 8, I mean D85110M, Android version 4.4.2, KitKat. So we are indeed stock. And that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it quite interesting and useful. And if you have any questions, just comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.